Hey guys, so I'm at one of my favorite old house sites right now in the forest. Um, I've been here for about a half hour, and um, I actually brought uh, one of my mini probes to try to find one of their old privies in this area, because there's a few impressions in the ground that could possibly be the old privy pits, but not too sure. But anyway, so on this hill here, um, I was just detecting along here, I was just getting a solid coin signal. It was going on and off though, because there was a bit of iron somewhere in this in this hole. But I pulled it out, and I am not exactly sure if it is a coin or a button. It has the rim to a coin, but it looks like there's some like goldish coloring on it. So let's give this a squirt with water and let's see what this is. What is this? Might be some sort of medallion or some sort of old token. It's definitely some s sort of coin or something. Okay, I'll just give it a rub on my leg. This is really cool. It still has some like goldish glit or whatever on it still. Something about H.R. West's Trey and Troy trained dogs or something. Never seen anything like this before. I wonder how old this is. Well, I think there might be a date right here. Oh, that's awesome. I think it says 1853. I'm not sure if this is from the U.S. Oh, yeah, it is. It says New York. New York Crystal Palace. 1853. That is really cool. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next. All right, so I was getting a, uh, a very nice clear high tone. I thought it would be a coin, but as I uh, moved the leaves out of the way, it was turning into a mid-tone for some reason. And uh, it looks like, I think, a pooter, part of a pooter spoon or fork. I'm just gonna get the water out of my bag and squirt it. Hopefully there's some writing on it or something. I think I see some initials on it. All right, I'll clean this one up in the uh, when I get back home, and then I'll show you guys this in the wrap up. All right, guys. So literally just three feet away from that uh, that uh, the top of that old fork or spoon, I just got a harmonica. Literally like a full one. Usually when you get one, you only get like part of the reed, but this is the full thing. This is awesome. I wonder if I spray that with water, if it'll still have the name of the uh, the brand on it. That is so cool. That is awesome. I just wiped it off a bit with water, and it does say something on it. It says the words "the" and it says something else starts with a P. But this is this is so cool. Hopefully, it doesn't break in my bag though. What a cool find. So I don't know if this is silver, but I just found part of a pocket watch. This is nice. It's hard to say if that's silver or not. Could be if it's this well preserved, but I don't think because it's almost mirror like and usually silver is not like that sometimes. But this is pretty awesome.
beautiful old pocket watch. All right guys, so just in this hole right over here, um, I was getting a really bad iron signal, but I, I decided to dig it anyways, because a lot of the relics in this area, for some reason, are giving off bad signals. Um, so I can't imagine the stuff that could be here that I'm just skipping over because it's not a good signal. But the first things, the first two things I actually popped out of the hole were these two uh, pieces of pottery. It's pretty nice with some blue on it. And uh, the metal thing that was in this, in this hole is this mini blade. It's probably from an old pocket knife. Pretty cool. All right guys, so I just got a really uh, a shallow target, probably like two inches or so, uh, but it was giving me a solid low tone on my CTX3030. And it looks like some sort of button. Let me try to focus the camera. Oh, that is really nice. I'm not exactly sure what it says, but it has a, uh, it says like S and J, has a really nice crown on it. But uh, beautiful. Can't wait to clean this one up. And I'll uh, see you guys on the next. I went down towards here and uh, finally managed to get a solid signal. And look what it is. It looks like a Bank of Montreal token but the massive one so i think this is the same size as a half dollar i love these massive coppers they're so nice so this will probably be in the 1830s i think yeah 1837. i'm walking in a new area of the forest um trying to get to the other old house site um, I just got a uh, solid high tone signal and it looks like we got a shot musket ball. Pretty good sign. This is crazy. So I just had a solid signal and I was actually doing a live dig on it because it was giving me a solid coin signal and this is an area that I've gotten a ton of good stuff in. And the first thing I pulled out was a bullet top and then I stopped the live dig because I was pissed off that it was a bullet top but I went back over the uh, hole and it was still giving me a solid solid signal and I dug it up and look at this I have no idea what it is but it's beautiful look at that beautiful like bluish stone in there I don't know if it's real gold or not but it definitely has a goldish color oh that is so nice It probably is gold because, well, you never know. That is so nice. I wonder what this is, like part of an old like bracelet or something or, or what? It's got a really nice design at the top there as well. Hey guys, so this is a wrap up from a few different hunts, but in the same location, but I will actually show you uh, the first few finds from Pound the Ground first. So I didn't actually end up finding that much. Um, since there were like a thousand detectors there, a lot of the ground was covered really fast. Um, I did research beforehand, so the area that I went to first, um, that was actually the area where people found the most stuff out of. Um, but I found this. I'm still not sure what it is. I thought it was part of a necklace but still not sure it has like the letter a on it as i literally found this like the first five minutes when it started and uh, there was a guy a few meters away from me who got a spanish real which was crazy um there were a few people actually who got spanish reals in the entire weekend i think this is sterling silver so i thought this was actually aluminum at first but um you can kind of see there's like some unique design all around it. And uh, it looks like there's a lion hallmark right down there. So it might be silver. 
then a Sacred Heart of Jesus Religious Medallion, a thimble, and I am not sure what this is, but it is very heavy. So now the uh, finds from the hunt in the video you just saw. So some nice pieces of pottery, some four musket balls. I only filmed uh, when I found one, but um, I got three shot ones and then uh, another musket ball there. With the coins, uh, I found an 1837 Bank Montreal Penny Token, and then a 1853 H.B. West's famous train dogs, Trey and Troy uh, medallion from the New York Crystal Palace. It's crazy how I found that locally in Canada, because it's funny that I just got back from New York. It's weird when things like that happen. A blade from an old pocket knife. I thought this was a flat button, but it is actually a uh, saw blade medallion. So this says Spear and Jackson Sheffield. Part of a pocket watch or an old compass. A pooter spoon. It says Britannia on it. And then some sort of part of a bracelet. Really nice. I think that part is silver right in there. And then a harmonica. It's cool because usually you only find the reed or part of it. But this is like the full thing. And then these are from like the top and bottom. So I think it says the perfection. Really cool. So thanks guys for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and happy hunting.